that Biden should pardon Trump. Oh, fuck off. Do you think, um, I've asked Destiny this, what do you think of what um, uh, some people have said, like I think it was Geraldo Rivera, who thinks that if Trump is indicted, or no, actually, no, regardless of whether or not he's indicted, that Biden should pardon Trump. Oh, fuck off. Fuck all the way off. God damn it. This like love of like, fuck, maybe I grew up in a very niche corner of the country, but like I, whenever we talked about Nixon growing up, people were like, oh my God, I'm so fucking grateful that Ford pardoned Nixon so we could all move on with our with our thing and just make sure that the president is above the goddamn law. No, fuck all the way off. This is, you know, you know, a great way to like, th this is, th I know this is just personal but my dad was like obsessed with like watergate growing up and every time that he talked about nixon he was just like you know what i really like the ford part of nixon so that we could move on as a country and i'm like you know what a great way to move on with the country is having justice served and understanding that we can actually respect these institutions because we know that they're not above they're not above us like ah no absolutely not i have not heard any did you are you talking I muted myself twice. I muted um, myself in the server and I muted myself on the microphone here because I didn't want to cough audibly. I what I was saying was, I completely yeah. agree with you. As a matter of fact, I kind of fell in love with you all over again uh -huh. when you were talking about that. Because, I mean, joking aside, uh -huh. for real, um, yeah, like what a wrong signal to send to everybody. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. It's so like we, I like what, what did destiny say? He was kind of on the fence from what I ah! remember. You're the biggest institution guy on fucking Twitch. And we, like, how, how else can we enforce respective institutions? If right. not to make sure that they are in line with, 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 with the law, like the uh, fundamental bedrock of, of, of a democracy of, mm. of, of a Republic is that no one is above the law. You psychos. No, absolutely not. I'll well, go yeah. fight Destiny right now on this. Jesus Christ. Like, fight F-I-T-E me I-R-L. Yeah, fight me in real life. No, no. Listen, it okay. is, I think his his objection was to steel man his case because uh -huh. he was thinking about the long-term consequences. I think uh -huh. I think in principle, he, he would readily concede. Okay. Trump should be indicted. Sure. No matter what, what are the, the consequences what are. What are the long-term... What, what could... Trump, what could Trump should be indicted no matter what the consequences are, and he shouldn't be pardoned if he's found guilty no matter what the consequences are. But from a consequentialist perspective, I think Destiny okay. was, would kind of be nervous because that might cause a civil war. Uh, uh, <laughs> huh? Sorry. One. One. Just, mm, I disagree fully that that would cause a civil war. I don't think that Trump has anywhere near to enough backers at this point. Like he lost, he has lost so many supporters down the line. Uh, what I'm not, I'm not entirely sure if that's justification to not, to not uh, have justice do its course. I'm interested in it, but I do not think that that would happen. I think Trump had very low um, approval rates throughout his presidency right. And then he got COVID passed through. So a lot of his conservative, like he was super on board with the COVID vaccine and a lot of lockdowns and things like that. And his supporters really didn't like that. And then he left and he he, he just sort of like gave up on the January 6th supporters because he realized that was kind of a lost cause. And his supporters really didn't like that. And they found a new boy. They found Ron DeSantis. I don't think indicting Trump will do jack shit to this country. I don't think there are enough, there are enough supporters who stand by him as unilaterally as he think he does or we think he does and i bet you i bet you there are republicans right now who would obviously not publicly say this but are really hoping low-key that that's exactly what happens because yeah. they want to be rid of him like yeah a hundred percent he is he is excised he has completely split the republican party and if there's anyone that i could i could point to and say and and as a reason as to why uh democrats did so well in the midterms it's be it's trump who completely ex like split 
the Republican Party into like five different factions. You've got like the crazy conspiracy theorists who are still on Trump for some reason. No, no, no. The crazy conspiracy theorists left Trump because he was pro-COVID. And then you've got the Trump loyalists. Pro-vaccine. And then you've got like, yes. It, well, what did I say? Oh, pro-COVID. pro-COVID. Sure. Pro-vaccine. Yeah. Pro-vaccine. You crazy conspiracy theorists. You've got the the DeSantis, like anti-lockdown uh, very suit and tie conservatives. Then you've got the Mitt Romney who was like wondering where the GOP was back in the eighties. Uh, they're like, I didn't realize that we were explicitly saying this. I just wanted to enact all these racial things through policy. Anyway. Um, I don't know the, you, you, the, the Republican party is completely fractured at this moment. And I think that uh, if a lot of Republicans would, would want to. This is their moment. Use this is the, time. the Republican party back like they got to step up their a game right now. And the idea of Trump running as a fucking independent is the biggest like ways to tank their chances. So I think, I think Republicans would probably stand by this if they're thinking critically or politically. And I think a lot of the people who who are feeling emotionally, I don't know. I don't think the Trump loyalists are, are anywhere near to a sizable degree or a sizable population um, that, that it would matter. Hey, you, yeah, you, Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, and I hope that you did, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe. Also, my link tree is in the description below, so if you have a sec, go ahead and share the love on all my social media accounts. Also, if you want to express an opinion, eternal devotion, or undying contempt, go ahead and leave a comment because we're always looking for feedback. And on that note, I look forward to pondering politics and pop culture again with you very soon.